This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Waking up this morning, I definitely feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm not going to find love here. And I just can't wait to get back home to my baby. Um. Oh my God, no, why? No. I think you're all amazing and I've made amazing friendships. Obviously come here for love and I just realised that like, you know, the love of my life is waiting for me at home with my daughter. I've had such a good experience and honestly I love you all so much but I just want to leave. Honestly I'm going on a good note, you know what I mean? Yeah. My experience here would have been nowhere near the same if it was not for Letitia. She's one of the best friends I've come across. Oh, I want to speak to her so much. Oh, my God, go, go, man. Yeah. I think I maybe, as a man, you should. Hello, girls. Hello, Letitia. Hi. Can I speak to you a second? Yeah. I've seen Letitia be sad for quite a few days now. Deep down, I feel a bit of guilt. Why are you going? I'm ready, do you know what I mean? You know what? <sighs> what? I don't express myself or say things the best way I can do a lot of the time. And I've been selfish, like even provider one saying to her, oh yeah, I like you, this and that when I've already said to you that I like you. I want to say sorry to you. You know, generally because I really like you as a person. No, I feel like you definitely could have done things different. Exactly, that's it. You... I don't want to play part to something of you being more upset. It makes me feel bad. So seeing you like that wasn't good. That's yeah. coming from my heart, truthfully. Thanks. This is like the first bit of real emotion that I've seen from David since I've been here. And I hope you get back, you know, obviously you miss your daughter. Yeah, I do. I know that I can see it. I could feel how sad you was the past few days and all I did was care about myself and speaking to a girl and trying to like, oh, I can get her, it's pathetic. And that's not good. I'm just ready to go. I definitely feel like David feels guilty because his actions towards me have, have been bad. And it's crazy how it takes me to leave for him to realise that. Letitia was like another one of my sisters. I'm gonna miss her because the girl made me laugh so much. All I see is I'm gonna miss everyone. It's time for another trip to the beach, but whose ex will wash up at the shore today? Sophie, Ellie, and Georgia, brace yourselves. I'm going to the beach. It could either be an ex or my new husband. With a new ex on the horizon, the Tablet of Terror has sent Old Flames David and Matisha on a date to see if they can draw a line under their sketchy past. Today is do or die. I'm going to put all my cards on the table because I can actually imagine a future with this woman. Hello, you all right? Oh, shit, OK. You're not allowed to look. <laughs> you look very familiar. The hair is firm, the jawline, the eyes. Stop commenting. It is man. art. If you if you if you're it's having such a good time, I can gladly leave you here alone. Well, if you don't, if you want to get some food and I can wait, <laughs> I'll stop. I'll just draw. This neck is a very seafood. Listen, I'm not trying to put any thoughts in your mind or anything like that, but you know where I stand. I do really like you, you know, and it's weird because I haven't thought about you for ages. Well, I have. You saw how you felt when you saw me again. You, uh, yeah, it did exactly. It came you straight back. again. <laughs> Everything David says is coming from a real place, and I feel like he wants to give it a second chance, but I'm still being very careful. You know where I stand and kind of where I want stuff in to go, you know? So I think we can start it there. You know what, come on, you know, we just like each other, so. The natural reaction is a kiss. Matisha. I delivered the bronze, 
the silver, but not even sniffed at the gold. But my woman, Letitia, deserved a platinum.